All right, so this is me rolling with Janina. Gina won uh, the Women's Grand Prix recently. This is, I want to say, a couple months ago. Um, it just kind of reinforced the difference between a competitive black belt and a hobbyist black belt, I guess. Um, she was setting things up early before I even really realized it. So we start. She immediately pulls guard, which I anticipated, trying to have fight, the, fight the hands. I want to get in an isolated hip and go to knee cut is preferred for me. Uh, her grips are so strong the entire time she's getting in. Now she has uh, the lasso, the spider on the other hand. I'm trying to free my right hand here. She hooks. My balance is pretty good. Um, there's going to be a point here where she drops her left foot. Uh, we're still fighting. I'm going to end up here. Uh, this was a mistake on my hand, on my back. I should have been lower. I should have been back. Uh, she's going to get her hips under me, and she's going to use her right foot to start sending me this way. She gets in. I'm going to recuperate, but still, it's, it's a bad spot for me. I get back up immediately get out of there. Um, I understand that being in this spot here is going to be a problem. Um, she's going to go potentially uh, to single leg X and isolate this leg, maybe start attacking, sweeping me to my right. I immediately bail. back this grip is a pain in the ass the entire time any of the ladies that are taking private lessons from it, they take this away and it becomes such a hindrance later on fighting her left foot trying to stay up she grabs the collar now I'm trying to fight for her hands if I can keep her hands busy long enough, maybe I can stand. Um, so it's going to be a hand fight battle here. She does a really good job of not letting me press, not letting me try to isolate. And then she bumps me forward. She is going to feed my collar to the left hand. Break my posture down the whole time. So I need to get this off but she never really bails on it. Now she has it around my bicep. I'm trying to battle, I'm trying to pin her shoulders to the mat. And now I'm worried about a triangle. At some point here, which I was not aware of at the time, she's gonna bump me and wrap my gi top around her leg. I think I'm still good here. I'm so worried about her grips. Still good. Pretty sure it happens here. This is going to be a, a setup for a sweep almost minutes later. Like she's setting it up ahead of time. Beautifully done, to be honest with you. Left hand grip. She switches. I'm completely worried about my balance. She's starting to play with balance, shift me, trying to get this leg out of the way, I go back to close guard. Not really what I want, but it's a better position than any of the submissions that she's going to start throwing. She starts to push, and 
and trying to deal with that leg, she throws a triangle. Again, this was set up a while ago. Knowing that she was going to start to sweep or tack a leg, whatever. I really did not even know this happened at the top. Beautiful setup. My response was to butterfly hook my right leg. So now I'm setting up my sweep and we're gonna go double grips. My shin is in the hip and I'm literally just now tripping her backwards. The highlight of my uh, bow with her for me. Everything else was pretty much her. Sweep, get my two points back, and now I'm in trouble again. She has the overhook, she's starting to fight for the, the lasso or the, the geek grip over the top. Everything just feels so strong. Forward, we're gonna fight the hands again. I'm trying to get this grip so I can now like bring my hips back, and start breaking them. Uh, and again, this is an issue, major issue. She sends me this way, weights off, my foot's planted. It's all bad for me. Again with that grip, beautifully set up, triangle, at this stage I'm going to end up scrambling a bit. She is surprisingly heavy, surprisingly heavy. I weigh her by quite a bit, but her pressure is really good. Just blocking the hip, keeping tight. Super uncomfortable here. My bridge, I'm trying to wait for a mistake or a hole or a gap, but really everything's super tight. Heavy in the hips. All right, so trying to push off, create some space for myself. But again, she's heavy on the hips. It, with the hips, it, I don't have a whole lot here. This is my lucky spot. So I'm gonna get my one of my hook, my hooks on the inside. Here it goes, which is gonna create the lift, which allows me to get my guard back into place. Did stage, I love the reverse uh, De La Hiva. I'm gonna end up sending her this way. I have my hooks in place, I have my hand, and I'm going to end up tripping her on the side. Immediately gets back up. Doesn't allow me to enjoy anything. I try it again, immediately gets back up. Just a fantastic round. Uh, now, what was hurtful was how casually she just got up. She walks off the mat. I'm exhausted. I'm trying to catch my breath. I'm like 41 years old. I'm tired. And there she is, 
Just drinking water. Chill. Look at this. Not a care in the world. I absolutely did nothing. Fun round now.